Hey YouTube, Ray again. This time in another video review, we're looking at Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen, Hunt for the Decepticons, Leader Glass, Starscream. Normally I do the shit at the end, but I just wanted to say it right now. This is an awesome figure. So here we have the packaging, as you can see it's completely new, very cool. Nice bronze, brown and a bit of gold detail. As uh, the figure of course in uh, robot mode. Jet mode here, F22 Raptor, pretty cool. Some features on the side and on this side. Very nice picture of Starscream and the bio with uh, some tech. If you want to read it, pause this video now. Okay, no. Then on the back, it shows the, the character robot mode and jet mode. Very nice. It also a picture of Prime on uh, the bottom with the battle hooks. I'm not gonna get it. I have the uh, the normal version and uh, the Buster was Prime version, so yeah, skipping this one. Let's take a look at the figure now. Here you can see stars come with leader class jet fire. You can see the uh, the width is the same. Of course, he has more bulk, but uh, overall, I think he's uh, a lot nicer looking. Of course, uh, he should be a lot bigger jet fire, but well, just put him away for now. You can see Bombi. Next to a uh, big ass star scheme, very nice scale. Quick comparison with uh, the original from the line. You can see a lot smaller, and this is more of brown color, this is more of a dark, nice gray. The tattoos are also a lot nicer. As you can see, very nice. It's like uh, the cockpit on the, the new one, a lot better, it's a lot lighter and yeah, really cool looking. Of course, the new one doesn't have the problem that uh, the old one had with uh, yeah, the hand sticking out. This one has thrusters on the back. Of course, he still has a lot of bulk, but yeah, it's Transformer, so you can't get rid of that entirely. He has landing gear. Very nice. Can be collapsed very easily, although tightly. Like so. Has of course some uh, some features. First off, there's a launcher on the bottom. You can put a projectile in there and shoot it. It's Hasbro, so you won't get that far. Probably about yeah, 12 inch. You just take this off right now, and also these. Another feature has is of course sound. Very nice Decepticon symbol here. Press it. Let me just turn the lights down for you. You can see the cockpit light up and also the, the intakes here. Very nice. I, I don't quite get it why he says a phrase in jet mode, but oh well. This jet mode is gonna get a 10 out of 10 from me. I think it's awesome. I think it's superb looking. The sculpting is great. If you put this on a shelf, no one will notice it's a transformer. To transform this dude, first off, go here. Pop these up, pop these up, pull these out, like so, they are on a the spring, very cool. Now we have to unlock this piece and it can be a bit difficult to get your nails under here, so what I like to do is, you can see the joint here, just press it in and it will unlock that piece. Put it on there like that and then these will go like so. On the underside, as you can see, I already removed the launcher. So now we can get the legs undone. It takes a bit of force to do it, but uh, well, better have it tight than uh, yeah, it being very loose. Move it like so. You can hear lots of clicky joints. Very cool. Now. The feet show you how they uh, unfold. First of all, this piece, put them up like that. Back, get the piece on the other side, pull it out, spread the toes, and then this piece on the side, if you can see it like so, 
first uh, flip it like that this one is very tight other side same thing move it to the back we'll get the hands out now just from the bottom press them out like that unlock them like so go to the other side and yeah this is uh, the tricky part of these like so and that's one thing I have to say about this figure he's uh, kind of yeah kind of tricky to transform but at the same time uh, the engineering that went into this is uh, fantastic these pieces move them up like so really tight as well I'm not sure how this will show up on camera but if you look here it's like this pull it back and then move it up same on this side pull it back and move it up then what you do is you can see a piece here move it like that slightly forward and a bit further on the other side as well forward slightly further now what you have to do is there's a connector here and there's a hole there just plug it in like so and then this piece goes over here like that same on the other side move this up connect it like so and put this over the peg pretty cool turn this around like so back to the top of the jet what you have to do now is lower this down there's a panel here get your nails in there like so and what we'll do now is you can hear the transformation sound move it down it will reveal the head and you have to click it into place and it takes a lot of force to do it but it will go in there nicely like so what we'll do now as you can see this uh, yeah gold panel here in this gold panel this one goes back like so this waist piece goes like that and you will click it over the cockpit there we go it takes some uh, force but it will lock in place now that we have that this piece will just go to the back of his head this will go back up like so there we go you can take the launcher put it onto his back uh, yeah you can put it down you can put it up whatever you like whatever you pick I'll just put the missiles here like so and then we only have to do one more thing of course the hands just get them standing a bit like so and uh, the hands go out like so turn them around the other side as well And there we have Leader Class Starscream in his uh, awesome road mode. The detail is amazing, the sculpt is amazing. I really love this figure. I think uh, Buster Optimus Prime is the best Leader Class figure, and then uh, closely followed by this figure. This feature here is this, of course. light up cockpit, light up eyes and his uh, mouth will open up, pretty cool I like the phrases, it's a uh, very Starscream-esque 
And I also like the voice. I don't know if it is the actor from the movie, but uh, yeah, it's it sounds great. Uh, articulation, the heads. Forward and back. Rotation here. In and out. Rotate here. In and out. Hand can move here and in the middle. And the thumbs can be adjusted slightly. No waist, legs. Out, also at the knee, no rotation at the knee, rotation is here, and uh, yeah, you can adjust the toes a bit, I guess, and the ankle, but well. Uh, some other features she has on each arm, there's a small trigger, and this one, two missiles, and this one, a Gatling gun, pretty cool. Another feature it has is that you can collapse the hand, like so, get the missile launcher from the back and you can plug him into the hand like so and now he has the launcher that you see him use in the first movie pretty cool gonna go ahead and give this uh, figure a 10 out of 10 if you are a movie lover and if you like Starscream you will love this figure get him get him now he's awesome he's great and he's everything a leader class figure should be now for some comparisons so you can see what he looks like next to the previous starscream figure and all of the other leader class figures that i really really like original starscream see this one yeah looks like a piece of crap next to this one and he is a bit of a piece of crap because his legs are very flimsy. Here you can see Starscream next to Leader Class of Prime, Jetfire, Megatron at the Movie 1 Brawl, and also Canon Bumblebee, Deluxe Class. You can see the scale is pretty, pretty nice. I hope you enjoyed this review. I thank you for watching. Please rate my videos. Please leave comments. And I'll see you soon. Ray out.